PTSD is, is a spectrum, right? And I mean, I think we're all somewhat affected. I mean, my husband and I talk about it all the time and we are in, in constant fear. As I was um, telling you ladies earlier, you know, we think about it a lot. We think about the fire anytime there's wind advisories, we always, there's something about us that gets really anxious. So I think there's a degree of trauma that we all experience, um, whether we label it PTSD or not. Yeah. But I think it, the entire community is traumatized by it. I mean, if the sky looks hazy, we get on the CAL FIRE um, website to see if anything has been reported. Um, so there's definitely a level of anxiety and hypervigilance out there. I mean, it's, if, it's a life-changing experience when you're getting your baby out of bed at 3 in the morning and, you know, driving her through a through a highway where you can't really see anything but flames in front of you. It's not to mention all the all the the anxiety that goes through your mind when you think about all the all the memories that you could potentially lose. You know, there's so many things um, that just you can't you can't really attach value to right in in this home um that i i would be heartbroken if i lost my baby's you know i don't know first pair of shoes it, it's stuff like that 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 when you're preparing for a fire you don't consider it you know we have a box of our important documents but we don't have a box of memories that we could just take with us so Yes, um, I think there's definitely a level of anxiety and trauma um, that runs deep in the community. And if you talk to anyone that went through anything that night, I think we all have a story um, that's very vivid and very life-changing. Mm -hmm.